When I started in this business way back in 1989, everything was very expensive. The word affordable and production really did not go together. Well, everything's changed these days. We have affordable cameras, we have affordable editing systems. You can really do a high level of production without spending a fortune. Now, thinking back to when I started and all through the 90s and early 2000s when I was involved in television, just to get a teleprompter cost an absolute fortune. They were big, they were cumbersome, and they weren't very portable. Not only that, you had to plug them into the wall just to make them work, which meant that if you wanted to do work on location with the teleprompter, it could be very difficult. If you didn't have power, you just couldn't make it work. Well, I've got three teleprompters in front of me. These are all made by Data Video. Now here, we have one designed for DSLR type cameras. This is a TP500. TP300 designed for handheld cameras. Sony EX1, Panasonic HPX250 size cameras. And over here, for full-size ENG cameras, shoulder-mounted cameras, we have the TP600. Now what's fantastic about these teleprompters is they're easy to set up, they're light, and they're affordable. I would go as far to say that to buy any one of these prompters will cost you less than it would cost to get an operator with a teleprompter out on location for a day. So what I want to do in this video and the videos to follow is to run through each of these and show how easy they are to set up, show how manageable they are in terms of portability, and just show how easy they are to pack away and take wherever you need them to be. And basically, with any one of these models, you've got an affordable teleprompter system that you can take anywhere and use on location or in a studio environment. This is a TP300, which is designed for portable cameras. If I swing it round, you can see camera fits into place, bracket supports camera and the teleprompter unit. Push it back this way, you've got the black material to keep out any stray light. The all important bracket, this is where you put your iPad or your Android tablet, whatever device you might be using. And the all important translucent mirror, which is absolutely critical because if you don't shoot through a translucent mirror, it's very hard to get that look looking straight down the barrel of the lens. Now there are ways to fudge it, but really you don't wanna to have to fudge it, you just want it to work right. And looking straight through the mirror is what works best. Now, the other thing I'll say is that it's quite simple to actually just take the unit off. Now, as you can see, I could, if I wanted to, have this on location and I could actually be shooting and managing this handheld while I'm walking with the journalist or while someone's presenting to camera. And it's really not heavy. I'm not struggling in any way to hold that. And I find it very exciting, the idea of being able to shoot on location with a device that's as portable and manageable. And you can basically shoot handheld off the tripod or a jib arm or whatever it is that you choose to use. Next, we're gonna look at the TP300. This is designed for portable handheld type cameras, HPX250 by Panasonic, Sony EX1, JVC HM600 or 650, any of those portable handheld cameras, that's what this unit is great for. Okay, I've already taken the base plate off of the tripod and put it on the base of this unit. So just slot that into position. This is what we build the prompter around. That's great. Next, slot this into position, just slides through the two grooves on the bottom. And we've got two thumb screws. And this is what will hold the glass in place for the teleprompter. If I look down from above, I can just line up these to screw into position. That's one. And the other one. Okay, next piece of glass, mirror on one side, see through on the other. And there's a groove on both sides of the frame and the glass just slots into it. There we have it, it's already starting to take shape. Put the camera into position, I've got a Sony EX1. I'll leave the matte box on, but if you need to get closer to the glass, it's just a case of taking the matte box off the camera, but I know that this works already with it on. Put it on the base, another thumb screw fits straight through and just screw it in. And once you've got it nice and tight, lock it, and the camera's not going to move at all. That's great. Okay, 
this piece of wire which is flexible you've got holes on the inside of the frame just put that into position you can choose any of the holes the purpose of this is to actually give the black material which we put over the prompter something to rest against so it gives it the shape it needs to work properly and this is the piece of black cloth so to get this right the easiest way i've found is take the hole put that towards the camera that's important to get right we'll actually put it over the body of the camera in a sec over the lens and then take the velcro and just follow it all the way around and on the other side keep it coming and then underneath as well and that's fine and then take the actual black cloth and put it in this case over the matte box or over the lens whichever you're actually working with so it's important to get this right so I'm actually taking a little bit of time here and then just tighten it up once you're there and that's basically preventing any light from getting in you've got two other pieces as well which you can these are weighted so they fit on the side you may not need to use these if there's any light coming in from the side it can actually reflect off the glass but that just joins the velcro and then I'll put this back over and likewise one more for the other side and you know you've got it right because like I said it's weighted so you can see that's in the right position and once again just put that on and over the rest of it and that's all looking quite good so we're pretty much there in fact the only other thing I've really got to do is take this piece which is what will support your iPad or your Android device and that is as simple as there's a round area there and that slots into position there's a hole just here so line it up with the hole hold it in place thumb screw and tighten up that thumb screw and you're ready to go so take the iPad put it in position there's a lever below which enables you to extend the frame to hold the iPad exactly where it needs to be. Push that back, lock it. The iPad's looking great. Switch it on. And we are now ready to go with the prompting. And there you go. I'll just say one more thing, which is the TP300 comes with these units and some thumb screws to make these work. What these are for is if you need to raise the camera higher. In this case, I didn't need to, but you may have a smaller camera, so you can use one or use two, and it comes with more thumb screws, and they would actually sit underneath the camera and give you that much more height. And other than that, all you've got to do is take your remote and connect it via Bluetooth or connect it as a wired remote, and then you've got all the facilities you need to work with. You've got to load your text and then get into the prompting side of things. It's also possible to use a TP300 in a different mode. If we take this entire frame here, which is what we built the prompter around, we turn it the opposite way, and then you take the frame that holds the tablet and you attach that vertically. It actually attaches with a thumb screw below and it enables you to put the tablet off camera. The big advantage is that the presenter can refer to notes without staring down the barrel of the camera the entire time which sometimes can actually provide a more natural way of presenting. I struggle with expensive retakes, on stage talent drifting off script, or a presenter's loss of eye contact with the viewing audience. The Data Video Prompter Kit, the TP300, also the TP500 and TP600, they are all designed to help you overcome all of these problems by converting a tablet computer into a low cost and effective prompter. The Data Video TP500, the TP600, and the TP300, these prompter kits can be used on location, they can be used in studio environments, they can be used with DSLR cameras, B 
bigger cameras, mid-sized cameras, your prepared scripts can be easily copied from an app into an email.